lovely viewers, it's Christy here today with a selfie tutorial. I've had lots of requests asking me how I print my photos using the Project Life app onto my Canon selfie. So I'm going to just get started and hopefully it makes sense. If you do have any questions, just leave me a comment below. I'm pretty good about getting back to people in a timely manner. So. Every week I sketch out my page designs and just kind of make some notes about what we did that week and things I wanted to record. And then I just go through my photos and kind of plug in uh, what I want to uh, include as far as photos. So we're on the week of August 3rd to 9th. The week isn't yet over, but uh, I do know of some photos that I would like to print, so I'll show you those. So first to get started, you're going to turn on your Canon selfie. And the Canon selfie, the screen pops up. Usually I have it in this position, but so that you can see what I'm doing, I will leave it um, lowered. And as the Canon selfie turns on, uh, it enables the Wi-Fi. So when you first get your Canon selfie, uh, the manual will, will tell you how to hook up the Wi-Fi. Each, um, each selfie has its own password, so you have to uh, enter the password as instructed. And so I'm just going to go into my settings and change my uh, network. So right now I'm on my home network and then um, it pops up right away CP910 and then a whole bunch of numbers and that is the printer name. So I just select that and we're connected. Next step is, now I've tried a lot of different apps. I have downloaded the Canon uh, app, I've tried photo collage, I've tried um, other other uh, apps for photo printing and by far the Project Life app is my favorite and that is why I decide to print through the Project Life app. So <clears throat> I'm just going to go right into it and I'll back up a few steps here. So Project Life app, I just select the photo card um, option and I'm going to go into my options here and select the size I want and I'm going to show you a couple of different um, ways of doing it. First I'll just start off really simple and just do the horizontal 4 by 6 so I select that and when I click on the photo I have the option of either printing a card or a photo so I'm doing photo from here, I can select photos from my camera roll, Dropbox, Instagram, and maybe you have some other photo sharing options, but those are the ones that I have. So I'm going to click camera roll, and I'm just going to try and find the photo that I want, and there it is. <clears throat> so I just click it. And what I really like about the Project Life app is the ability to resize your photo in the app. So I, if I wanted to, I could just zoom right in and just print that part of the photo. In the other apps, you did not have that option. So you never really knew what was printing. Certain parts of the photo might have gotten cut off or you just it just would plop in your photo and you didn't have like the wiggle room to adjust it how you wanted. Another good thing about the Project Life app is that you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, the saturation. <clears throat> you can rotate it as well, right in there, no problems. This photo is how I want it. And now, because the Canon selfie is not true 4x6, it will cut off just a little bit around the outside of your photo. So I just want to take a look and see if anything is going to get cut off 
like I don't want people's heads to get cut off or that sort of thing. So I mean it looks like it will be okay. It's going to take off a little bit of her arm and her arm and maybe a little bit of my daughter's shoe. But I mean for the most part it's it's pretty good. I could No, that just No, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So <clears throat> now from here I just click this uh, button at the bottom and I have the option to export or to share and I want to click export and then up pops my options so there's lots of options here I'm just going to click print the printer option options come up uh, it has my printer here uh, options for printing one copy or multiple copies postcard um, that's just the setting of the printer so I can't change that and then I just click print and then it activates it accesses my printer and it starts printing now that while that is printing I can do my next photo so I go back I'm going to select the collage, the two three by fours. And I'm look there it is. I'm looking for a photo um, that I saved, but it was taken quite a while ago. So, so there's two photos there. Again, I just check the outside to make sure that everything's fine. Click export and then print. And it's sending to printer. I'll do another one. This one I'm going to do uh, a different sort of collage. I go in, select my photos. These ones I might want to resize a bit. So I see how there's some toys in the background there. So I just want to like, I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to get rid of those. Move this one over a touch. Move this one over so it's more centered on the photo. Zoom out. Export. Print. I'm going to do one more that I forgot I wanted to print. This one is in black and white. It says low res because I saved it from Facebook, but I'm not too concerned um, about it. I'm just seeing if there's a black and white option. No, I already saved it as black and white uh, using my iPhone settings, so let's see how this turns out. Print. And it's printing. So I'll just run through that again. Quickly, hopefully you can hear me over the printer. So you want to go and turn on your selfie, go into your settings, change your Wi-Fi to um, the Canon Selfie Wi-Fi connection, which it already is. Project Life app, you can select um, your photos, how you want them. Keep in mind, like if you're selecting 6x8, 
your dimensions are going to be off. So make sure you're clicking 4 by 6 There are like a bunch of uh, options there. And so you just click in. You can do a card. Let's do a card. Let's do this one and this one and we'll do a different photo. Let's do this one and this one. You can size your photo how you want it. You can move it around. So here it was cutting off her arm and I just want to move it over a little bit. And I could I could print this by clicking export and print. I can save it, I can open it, I can copy it, whatever. Okay, so that's that. And then these are my images. So it has a perforated strip. There's my 4x6, and it slips right into the pocket. It is a little touch smaller than the pocket itself, but I mean, you can back it with a piece of white cardstock or just leave it as is. I do both. I mat my photos or I leave them as is, if you've seen any of my other videos. Here are the photos for the 3x4 pockets. So I would just simply cut this down the middle, plop these in uh, the 3x4 pocket, and it would be totally fine. For this one, I could cut these down and like layer these, uh, these two on like a 3x4, and I could put this on a 4x6, uh, but this would only be a 4x4 photo. But for what I have in mind, I'm just going to put this straight into the pocket. Okay, obviously these tear right off. I'm just not doing it because you don't need to watch me do that all. But yeah, that's all. And then when you're done, uh, right now I'm out of paper, but to change the paper, it's super easy. You just lift this up, insert the paper, glossy side up. Close it and insert again. And to change the ink, I'm not sure if I'm ready to change the ink, but you just open this, uh, press release or eject, the cartridge comes right out, and you just insert another cartridge, close it up, and you're done. I hope that answers all of your questions. If you do have any more questions, please just let me know, and I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.